On new this noon, it's a road so bad, fracking trucks have avoided it, and those who dare drive on it cannot even swerve to avoid the bumps and bruises. It's pothole season, but 7 News anchor Stephanie Grinley shows us in this town of Belmont County the amount and depth might just make the potholes on your roads feel tiny. Both sides of the road you come down and the oil companies have replaced it, but as soon as you get to the bottom, it's all back to the old like this and it's just it's like a third world country. There's holes that swallow your car everywhere. On one side of town, County Road 5 was paved by the fracking company. The other side, the pipeline company has covered what they use, leaving the middle, a section that hasn't seen love since Andrew Stoffer has lived here, so at least 13 years. Here on Glencoe Road, you can see how large the potholes are with this jump box fitting inside one of them. And even it's marked with orange painting to warn drivers go around. I've called before back in 2011. I had a Chevy Cavalier and it blew out the back tire and bent the rim and they wouldn't do anything. He described the road looking like a war zone. The patchwork, while well intended, is a constant battle. The road itself looks scarred from the stitch work. Every vehicle he owns has wound up with front end casualties, high rods, wheel bearings. They are no match. I don't know. I, I just think that we as residents who pay our taxes, our road taxes, our license taxes, our state taxes, our federal taxes should have decent infrastructure. And that's what Belmont County engineer Terry Lively tells me he intends to give the residents. He admits the couple mile section of road is pretty rough. So rough, Lively applied for a grant over the summer and just received exciting word in January that this section will finally see paving. The grant will pay $400,000 of the $900,000 project. Paving will start July 1st, and in the meantime, Lively tells me patching, a familiar friend to Glencoe Road, will have to do. In Belmont County for 7 News, I'm Stephanie Grinley, working for you. Stephanie, thanks. Lively tells us the grant will also fix up the bridges before the road is paved. Glencoe residents have fingers crossed for fresh pavement, something some have never seen while living on this road.